And this is the video, it's hard to comprehend. Please look here, showing the bullets flying during a shootout at a local gas station, and then moments later, a woman out with obvious pain. The victim got caught in the crossfire in southwest Atlanta, and Channel 2's Steve Gelbach walks us through the video and where the investigation stands right now. Video shows a black Dodge Charger parked at the Texaco station on Lee Street in Atlanta's Oakland City neighborhood Sunday night around 8.30. A young woman is in the passenger seat. The driver walks out the front door where a second suspect who Atlanta police say has a handgun in his waistband approaches and confronts him. Walking away, he gets to the driver's side door, opens it, pulls out an AK-style pistol. The suspect at the back of the car immediately reacts, reaching for his gun and diving for cover. The suspect with a large gun points it at him over the roof, and one on the ground can be seen putting his hand up, apparently pleading. He retreats to the front of the car, then can be seen firing three shots, all hitting the windshield. The other shooter takes cover before popping up and firing back, then fires off even more shots from the side of the car. The video was from this camera pointed this direction where the car was parked here at this gas pump, but there are other angles, other cameras. Look up on this pole. It shows the suspect, we're told, running away from the scene, but the owner here wouldn't share any more video with us because this is still an active investigation. Once the shooting is over, the driver puts the gun away, starts to pull away when the girl in the passenger seat gets out, clutching her shoulder in pain. One of the shots hit her. They went inside the store to call 911. Atlanta police and their gun reduction unit are actively working the case, talking to witnesses, and have talked to the driver who fired back. Detectives are also analyzing this video. In southwest Atlanta, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.